John Lee, this program is known as CRACE, Civilian Response to Active Shooter Events. The Madison Police Department says you're just as likely to be in an active shooter situation as you are to be hit by lightning. But there are many key things you should know in preparation if the unthinkable does happen. You never know what can transpire in today's world. Ricky Imhoff owns a Madison nightclub and bar. I feel it's the utmost responsible thing to provide safety for my customers. That's why he attended the Madison Police Department's active shooter response training. This isn't rocket science because otherwise I wouldn't be teaching it. Officer Matt McGowan led the program. It's real, real simple stuff that can help you guys uh, have an effective response. He says the worst thing you can do is play dead. As long as you don't just lie down and let this person have their way with you because their way with you is killing you. His best advice is to but avoid deny defense. Avoid the shooter or deny them access. If you can't do that, then defend yourself with whatever you can. Pretty much everywhere in the United States has been affected. They went over previous mass shootings and attacks, like the one last year in Paris, that had a heavy impact on Ricky. When the shooting in Paris was going on in the nightclub, I had a band on stage taking a sound check that had just gotten off a world tour with the band that was in that nightclub being shot up. It hit home that night, hit home hard and that's why I'm here. He thinks more people need to take this training to be prepared. I've lived on the hard street of life and uh, things are changing. They're really changing. They're changing fast. Officer McGollin offers active shooter response training for businesses, schools and churches. And again, he can't stress enough how the best option is to run away and the worst is to play dead.